Good day. I am Alexandri Castribolo and today we're going to talk about rule number 10, traffic separation schemes, letter H. A vessel not using a traffic separation scheme shall avoid by as wide as a margin as is practicable. Well, if a vessel is not going to the TSS, then they should be far away as possible so that they cannot, you know, cause confusion to the other ship who is um, heading or leaving the TSS. Letter I. A vessel engaged in fishing for fishing shall not impede the passage of any bus vessel following the traffic lane. Well, fishing vessel while fishing in TS zone shall not come into the TSS and thus obstruct the safe passage of another ship sailing across the TSS because this would defeat the purpose. This would defeat the for purpose of the TSS if the ship have to weave through the fishing vessel and their, their nets. Now we have letter J. A vessel of less than 20 meters in length or sailing vessel shall not impede the safe passage of a power-driven vessel following the TSS zone. This small vessel, um, you know, should not come to disturb the passage of the ship following a TSS. They can sail along the TSS zone, which they are permitted to. Letter K. A vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver when engaged in an operation for a maintenance of the ship of navigation in traffic separation scheme is exempted from complying with this rule to extent necessary to carry out the operation. Well, you know, let us say that um, a ship which is repairing or a buoy renewing it within a TSS, then obviously the vessel is restric restricted in her ability to maneuver. In this case, the work has to be done for the safety of the ship in TSS. So this special vessel would have not followed the rules for vessel in the TSS. For other ships, the signals as hoisted by working vessels should be carefully noted and the ship should pass clear of the restricted vessel. The restricted vessel may not comply with the rules of TSS. And last but not the least, we have the letter L. A vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver when engaged in an operation for laying, servicing, or picking up some submarine cables within a traffic separation scheme is exempted. Take a note, guys. Well, yeah, it is exempted for complying with this rule to extent necessary to carry out the operation. Like what I have just said, these vessels are also exempted. Thus, the alertness on the part of other vessels should be very sharp. Well, however, once the work is finished, the restricted ship no longer enjoys the exemptions for complying with this part of the rules. And that is all. Thank you.